Uh, Max, an outstanding performance for the uh, tough, just nine point defeat in the end. Uh, give us your immediate reaction to that one. Yeah, I think the boys are a little bit disappointed, really. I mean, I don't think we played as well as we did last week, but we were also in the game as well. Only nine points in it, or whatever it was. I think we had our chances, but um, just a little bit disappointed that we didn't take as many as we did last weekend. Is that, is that what it ultimately comes down to today? We had a lot of the ball, a lot of chances, and didn't quite take them, and we certainly got punished, didn't we? Yeah, um, I think... We didn't get the rewards that we did out of kick battle like we did last week, which they were massive wins for us. Um, against the wind, it was tough to, tough to play into it. Um, and they pin, pinned us back quite a lot as well. So um, we fought hard, really good energy from the boys. Just come up a bit short at the end. Yeah, let's just go back through the game. That kind of first half an hour or so, we had the vast majority of possession, played very well. Um, kind of, I guess the frustration is we perhaps didn't build the lead that we deserved. Yeah, I think... Um, Potentially, we probably needed a, a few a few more tries, maybe maybe two two more out of the first 20, 25 minutes. Uh, we were playing with the wind as well, so it was always going to be tough tough uh, second half, uh, and we probably left ourselves a, a little bit too much to do there in the second half. I know people weren't here to see it, but that spell just on half time, they must have been on our line for about five minutes. I know they got over in the end, but that's the kind of effort that we're going to need, isn't it? Yeah, that's something that we've really worked hard on with Codders uh, over this pre-season. We've really said that we want to pride ourselves on our defence and um, to hold them out for as long as we did was a real testament to what we've been doing. Um, and it shows that it is working, so the boys are really hungry to defend um, and we're just really happy to get out there. Do you think the tries either side at half-time for them were a little bit of a sucker punch for us, but perhaps struggled to come back a little bit? Yeah, uh, they, yeah, they were. Um, but also, in that second half, we could have quite easily rolled over after the second one came in. Uh, but we said we're going to stick to our game plan. We're still in the fight. Um, and boys got their heads down and worked hard, so we've got to be proud of that. We dug deep, didn't we? Obviously, that Burnsy try brought us right into it. It was only a two-point game with ten minutes or so to go. So, overall, we, have, we must be kind of pleased that we pushed them so close, and um, particularly over the two legs as well. Yeah, for sure. Um, the subs came on and really did make an impact. They, they changed the game a little bit. Um, they gave us a lot of spark and pumped us up a little bit. Um, Newcastle did come, come back again and pinned us back in the right areas, which made it tough for us to get down the other end. Um, but the fight was there. Boys are working hard all the time. Uh, and I think on another day, we could have probably won that. Yeah, I guess if you look at it on aggregate, that we scored the more points over the two games. So in all, all in all, I guess we must be pleased with this, uh, this double header. Yeah, I think we will be pleased. At the, probably at the start of it, we would, have, we would have taken that, I think. But also, we are disappointed that we didn't uh, back it up when we had a really good opportunity in our hands. Um, ultimately, the performance probably wasn't what it needed to get that back-to-back. -back. Um, but I think if you'd have offered it to us b before the two games, we probably would have taken it. What do you think the main things we've learned over the last fortnight are? Um, I think that we are in the mix and we're, we're making big progress. Uh, but also, we're not there yet. I think... Uh, boys are working hard and training hard and it is proving, I think we proved last week that we are getting the results that we, we need uh, but also there's a lot of work still to come um, and I think boys are excited to get into that. Yeah, this must set us up nicely for those Bristol games now as well. Yeah, definitely. I think um, we can get a bit more game time into some other lads that potentially haven't had it over the first two games um, and also they're going to be strong uh, Bristol sides as well so uh, two big opportunities. Um, and chance for players to put their hands up as well because we, we've obviously been short of games so far um, and there's a lot of competition for places in the squad. Uh, so it's a chance for boys to put their hand up and try and get that starting shirt. And just finally on a positive note to Academy lads coming on at the end, great for the club to see those guys coming on, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they've really kicked on. Um, they come in and, and trained with us and they've been training really well uh, and deservedly they've got a, a chance in the matchday squad. Um, obviously they would have liked a little bit more time potentially, but I think this is just a start for them and if they keep going the way they're going, they're going to be in the squad probably pretty regularly. Uh, Wardy, a narrow defeat here at Kingston Park in the end. Uh, give us your reaction to that, please. A bit of disappointment, to be honest. Um, I thought we were in the game. We did really well to fight to stay in the game because Newcastle came on strong second half. I just thought we left our opportunities out there. Um, fair play to them. They caused us um, that their line speed was good today and we didn't adjust to that. Um, but we'll definitely go away feeling disappointed that we didn't get the victory and back up what we did last week. Was the frustration perhaps that we actually had a, a lot of joy with possession in particular and just didn't quite take those chances? Uh, yes and no. Um, I don't think we took our chances, but those chances, a, f a few turnovers when we did have the ball, ended up us defending malls and defending... It wasn't just that we didn't take our chances, we then gave them opportunities with that. Um, and I thought last week we played high up the field and... I'm not saying we did it badly today, I just think we could have done it more um, and build that pressure. Was it perhaps the tries either side at half-time uh, for Newcastle that were a bit of a killer blow for us? Uh, not necessarily a killer blow, I thought we defended really well in that first half. Um, I thought we held them out and... Um, Another day with the TMO, 
things may have been different with that, um, the try that was conceded. I think in the second half we conceded early on, but I thought we came back into it brilliantly. You're 14-12, you're fighting, you're in the game, um, and, we, and we've got opportunities. Let's just go back to the start, a brilliant first half an hour, you must have been really pleased with that, and then a fantastic try for Angus down in that corner to give us the lead. Yeah, look, we built pressure. Um, again, there I felt our exits were good, we played in the right areas, we were creating opportunities. I just think when you're on top that much, you need to take those opportunities. Again, kind of 12 points behind just into the second half. It could have been, could have got a bit ugly, but obviously that try for Burnsy, you must have been really pleased with the way we just stuck in there and kept going. Yeah, look, these are a great group of lads yeah. that are going to fight all the way to the end. And I think we're extremely fit side. I think our um, performance team has done a brilliant job getting them to where they are at the moment. Um, so no, I didn't have that worry. And again, we, we came back into the game, Burnsy, a little bit of magic there, and we had opportunities again at the end. Max makes a break on the um, the open side. I, I thought Burnsy was in for his second at one stage. Um, used all 12 subs today. Must have been pleased to kind of see everyone in action, all the, all the new signings as well. Yeah, it was important. We didn't use too many subs last week. Um, we really wanted to go, particularly last week and in the first half today, um, with a consistent group of guys. Three or four guys came into the starting team this week. Um, to give them the opportunity to put their hand up. And then to be fair, like you said, um, as we started to make the changes, it's very easy to get loose, but our details stayed there. We need to, there's a few areas we definitely need to work on, um, but the guys came on and lots of debuts for the club um, and good to see. The two academy lads as well, what a massive statement that is for the Trail Funders Rugby Academy. Uh, look, it's, um, I'd have loved to have got them on earlier, to, um, to be honest. For them, it's just good to get out there and get a taste of that. They've been training really well um, with the guys. I think they need to, for them, they know the areas that they need to um, improve on and hopefully they'll get some opportunities in the coming weeks with the first team. Yeah, two great games then against Newcastle. Just give us your kind of assessment of this double header. Really pleased with how we've developed. If you, if you go back to December from where we were as a side, um, although we were in the game, I thought we were well beaten from a really clinical side and we didn't throw us enough punches in that game. Um, I felt we've come out in these two games and I've, I feel we've really caused some problems. I feel that we're more than a match um, for them. They obviously go off, um, I think they got Bath away next week, so it's a big challenge for them. And hopefully we've given them two tough games um, that will lead into their premiership season. And for us, I think we're in a really good place. We've got a week of training, a um, few days off, and then we'll lead into the Bristol fixtures, which will be a another good opportunity for guys to put their hands up. Yeah, does it show kind of how far we've come and how far we can go, the fact that there's some really frustrating figures out there at the end after what's been a, a, gr a crack into you know, two weeks of, of real effort? I just, I just think the boys are working. We've got a good, gr good group of lads. They're working hard. Um, they're working for each other. I think we've got a very good setup at Ealing Trail Finders where we're getting better every single year and as I say it's, it's another good step forward these last two games and the, the fact how disappointed the guys are feeling that we've left a lot of opportunities out there um, shows probably how far we can go.